for those of you who followed our IVF journey, here is our latest update and massive fingers crossed that this is the last update you'll see until I'm stood next to my pregnant wife. Popple, pregnant and tall, proven otherwise. Now that seems scary. It feels like we were just here yesterday and that's quite sad. It is. It is so hard. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. Absolutely. But, so on Friday, we found out that we were left with, after egg retrieval, getting nine eggs, we then had four left and a unsure one. I feel it like was, the unsure one could have grown. It might. It might have grown. It might overtake. But then the chances steady. are we will have lost some over the weekend as well. Well, I don't know if that is the chances or if it's... We just need to pray that we don't lose them all. And the hardest thing is we won't find that out until we're there tomorrow morning. So it is really nerve wracking tomorrow. What will happen is we will go in and we get sat in the wee room as if we're going for transfer, but not until the embryologist comes in and speaks to us to tell us if there is any eggs left, we, we may turn up and we're not going to, if we're not going to speak negative of it, no. but they let you know how many eggs are left and what grades your eggs are. At this stage last time, we had two grade A's and a grade C embryo at this point. Yes. But we don't know what news we're going to get tomorrow until the day. It, it's like the most nerve-wracking, sick, sick to your stomach feeling. Every part. Every, each time you get a phone call, you're like, oh, I'm past that stage. And then you're like, oh, we've got tomorrow to come. But tomorrow is it. Tomorrow's the one. Everything happens for a reason and whatever's there. Do you know, at this point, we honestly, I don't know if I can say this. We don't know what we're going to do. Um, before, in our previous journeys, we've 100% said that under no circumstances would we implant more than one because it increases the chance of twins. After having a failed transfer, followed by a miscarriage, we're at that stage now where we feel like we hope that this is our last, we really hope and want this to be our last shot at IVF. And if if we're lucky enough to have enough embryos- to do a full transfer that might be in question as well. So there's a lot that rides on tomorrow. Our heads are all over the place. Yes. We've we've obviously thought of, well, yes, it can increase the chance of twins. How would we feel with that outcome? I think like anybody in that situation, we would just deal with that outcome if that happened. But right now, obviously, we're hoping on that golden egg. We just need one good egg. We just need one good egg. If that's all we really like right now that's all we want right is that one golden egg it's there i, I really hope i so. can feel it in you it's not in me anymore no i could not now well this is going to be the last time you see us and tell our update tomorrow when hopefully like i said we're updating you to say transfer went well and did we transfer one two did we have any what was the grades? Oh no, I oh, there's even, so much I can't on this deal one. with this. I can't so deal with much. it. No. My heart can't take any more of this bear. Yeah, wish us luck. That's all I can say. Manifest hard for us guys. We're really nervous. Obviously, whatever happens, we'll speak to our family and stuff first. And if you don't see us well, <laughs> something was not good. <laughs> don't say that. That's saying. not gonna happen. No, bring that take that out. Take it back. I'll take it back. Positive. Manifestation. Baby, we have got good eggs.